Bel canto opera involves a lot of coloratura and ornamentation and approaches to doing that. Let's try and decipher the differences between the two. Ornamentation and coloratura are carry-ons from the classical era and Baroque periods in music history. Coloratura is an extended athletic virtuosity. It's showy, it's ornamental. There are runs and divisions in vocal and instrumental music that indicate a florid dexterity. But what's important to remember is that coloratura is something the composer writes out and notates, whereas ornamentation is improvisation, the art of creating music spontaneously during the performer. Performer added period characteristic ornamentation, something the composer does not write out, something that's created on the spot and in general is much shorter. So with coloratura, it's written out and it's longer. With ornamentation, it's done on the spot and it's not written out. When it comes to bel canto melodies, composers were concerned with writing beautiful melodies at all costs, primarily diatonic with an economy of chromaticism, long, slow-growth linear movements that forecast a sense of forward direction, or short, humorous, folk-like, simple melodies. More often than not, rich, lush, and gorgeous melodies. Common plot characteristics involve an economy of special effects, pastoral settings, historical themes and characters, oftentimes based on classic stories including Shakespeare or romantic novel inspiration, which was a new thing of the time. You won't find much fairy tale, mythological, supernatural, or exotic inspiration. Plots were more in tune with the romantic literature of the time in Western European settings.